We are Enactus Red Deer College. Our team founded our beginnings in 2019. We started with a small team and ran one successful project in the winter of 2020. That project was not completed, however, and we set goals in order to continue it this academic year. The project, named Financing for Futures, was originally envisioned as a multi-tiered basic financial literacy curriculum delivered to at-risk populations in our area through charitable organizations. In winter of 2020, we accomplished building the first tier of curriculum, budgeting. We were able to conduct two classes at the Central Alberta Pregnancy Care Centre with a combined impact of five. This year, we more than quadrupled our impact in the amount of classes we conducted. We also finished the original four-tiered model of curriculum envisioned by the team. Each tier of curriculum comes complete with a presentation slide deck, a corresponding workbook, and a case study to be completed in class. We educated a total of 21 individuals through virtually administered classes. The tiers of the curriculum were budgeting, credit and banking, savings and investments, and taxes, deductions, and benefits. In total, eight classes were administered to three different at-risk populations. We administered classes at the Central Alberta Pregnancy Care Center, Central Alberta Immigrant Women's Association, and the Veterans Association Food Bank. We also had a partnership with Scotiabank that we maintained from winter 2020. They reviewed our curriculum before we began administering classes, then provided us with an on-site advisor for support and to answer any questions the participants might have. The team would like to continue expanding this project to other at-risk populations. We grew from one organization to three this year and would like to continue diversifying our impact. The Mustard Seed and the Outreach Center have been considered as partners for moving forward. Our second impact generating project this year is tentatively dubbed QR Food Bank. We secured a project accelerator through the cooperators in the fall. This project would operate as an alternative work program for youth. They sign up and are able to log volunteer hours or tasks in return for gift cards to grocery stores or restaurants. We had seven participants sign up through a partnership with Youth HQ. To date, they've completed a total of 11 hours on various volunteer activities and classes. We track their volunteer hours and input it into a weighted funding analysis according to the time spent and the activity completed. The participants can choose to cash out a gift card at any point. They are presented with a list of options in terms of where the gift card is from. They can also choose to save up their hours to cash in for more at a later date. The benefits of this project are trifold. First, we are connecting volunteer organizations with much needed manpower to engage in their activities. Second, the participants are gaining valid work experience in order to graduate the program and land a job. Completing work certificates is encouraged and highly rewarded. Third, we are addressing food insecurity in Central Albertan youth by providing youth the means of accessing healthy, nutritious food. This also helps with mental health and takes some of the stress off being food insecure. We completed research this year by conducting focus groups with people who work with or have worked with food insecure youth. We asked them what food insecurity looks like, what to expect when working with food insecure youth, and what they thought of the project idea. We are planning on using a combination of the research we've done and the impact we've generated to approach an app developer in 2022. We would like to form this project into a functional app, sponsored by a yet undetermined financial intermediary. The app would serve as a resource for volunteer organizations to collect volunteers and track hours. Each registrant would be given a unique QR code that they get scanned when they log hours. Then, through the sponsor, funds would be uploaded to the code that could then be redeemed at participating grocery vendors and restaurants. This project has a lot of potential, but also a lot of groundwork that still needs to be done. The goal is to begin assembling proposals to land a sponsor by the end of 2021. Our third project this year is still in development and has not yet generated impact. We were approached by an alumni of RDC who works with the CRA with a unique financial literacy project. She wants to educate our trade students on financial literacy surrounding entrepreneurship. 
We will be creating a one-day course that educates trade students on financial literacy with a specific emphasis on tax filing in regards to sole proprietor requirements. The CRA will be assisting us in building the curriculum. We will be creating a pre and post survey to determine what the trade student's knowledge of financial literacy looks like before and after the course. There are also plans on following up with the students after the course to find out what percentage of them pursued entrepreneurship after post-secondary. We have reached out to the finance professors at Red Deer College to see if any would like to offer this as a project to their students. This would effectively create an interdisciplinary connection between business and trades. This is an important initiative for the business students. They have been sequestered to a satellite campus for the past 10 years, with 2020 being the first year back on main campus. This would provide a valuable connection for many students. The team is on a great trajectory for the coming year. We plan on continuing to grow our presence at Redger College by expanding our projects and our connections across different faculties. We are an Actus Red Deer College. Thank you for your time.